Welcome guys, so in this video we prove uh, three simple facts about the center. So center of the group basically is uh, the right so for if we commute with all the group elements it's called a center. It's called a center. Okay, so the first one the trivial thing is center is a uh, uh, right center is center itself is abelian but and also center is a normal subgroup. Of G, right? And the reason is trivial because in order to prove this, we need to prove that the y z g y inverse is still the z g, right? But uh, any so if it, you take any element here, then the y x y inverse basically is just x, right? So it's still in z g. So so this is uh, proof, okay? And the second interesting fact is that uh, second interesting uh, fact is that. Uh, uh if right if g quotient zg so notice that zg is normal right so if g quotient zg is abelian sorry a center a cyclic then uh, g is abelian okay so this is true uh, this is uh funny funny uh funny statement right because if g quotient zg is cyclic then g is abelian means but if g is abelian then zg is just equals to g so this tells you that uh, if G is non abelian uh, then uh, G quotient ZG uh, cannot be sent, uh, cannot be cyclic. Cannot be cyclic. Okay, so this is the uh, much interesting fact. Uh, okay, so uh, now we well, I try to prove it. I'll prove it. Okay, so uh, suppose G quotient ZG is cyclic. Right, so that means G quotient ZG can be generated by some uh, T, right? And uh, so basically, the, the set of this G quotient ZG is the T times some. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, sorry. So G quotient ZG is basically the set, basically, it's X times ZG, right? And the X is in G. Right, so this is a definition of a call set. And I, I assume that this is generated by some T, right? So basically, it's generated by some TG. Okay, so okay, so now uh, I can take I take maybe the x y right. Since we already try to prove the which is abelian right. So s so x is falls into some some uh call set right. So x can be written as the t to the m z g, and the y can be written as t to the n z g right. For some, for some, uh, okay. So I, I should say that this. Right? So that means x can be written as t to m z one, y can be written as t to n z two, right? And the z one and z two are both in the center, right? But then you you find that when x times y, this gives you t m z one, t n z two, right? But z is center, so you commute with all of t, right? So this gives you that. Uh, Right, so you can you, 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 so this gives you this right, and also this gives you this. Right, and, and it's obvious that this can be written as this. Right, uh, t two. Right, so this is y x. Right, so g is abelian. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, also the second interesting fact, and then from the Second interesting fact that we have the item three. So let me just write down the item three. So item item three say that what say that uh, if uh, uh, g is the order with p square, which p is prime, right? Then uh, z g right. So notice that there are many possibilities. Uh, there are several possibilities for z g. So the order of z g can only be one p p square or p q. But I claim that the uh, ZG right cannot be a uh, P square. Okay. And the reason is that uh, suppose that suppose it is then uh, ZG then G quotient ZG will be order will be cyclic because G quotient ZG is uh, is the the order for g quotient zg is prime number then it will be cyclic 
uh, right, you will be sickly. So you will be impressed that by item three, uh, sorry, by item two, then uh, you will be obedient. Obedient. But this implies that Z G is G, right? So then G coach Z G should be uh, identity, and uh, the order of Z Z G is P X Q, right? So this is a contradiction. Okay, so this is the three simple facts about a center, and the next time maybe we will talk about some examples of centers, and uh, we can see more interesting facts. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks.